In this section, we will be looking at detailed close-ups of the lace, bows, shearing, trim, buttons, ribbon, charms, and the print of the dress. This is an OP or one-piece dress with three-quarter length sleeves. The sleeves have a panel of sheer fabric right down the middle lined with rows of lace. You will see multiple kinds of lace and trim used on these sleeves, and the cuff itself is very voluminous and sculpted with many rows of ruffled fabric and lace trim. The bodice has many beautiful details, including different kinds of lace, trim, multiple bows, and rows of beautiful champagne-colored pearls. The bow on the front is not removable, but adds a really lovely eye-catching look to the bodice. At the waistline, there is a removable ruched overskirt. You can adjust the ruching and length of the overskirt, and there is a fluffy trim along the edge. Here we have a full top to bottom pan of the dress, so that you can take in all the little details. The back of the dress features a zip closure with no shearing. There is a large removable bow at the back waistline. In this section, we will look at the print artwork details. Here we have some color swatches and the overall imagery and motifs of the dress. While this dress does not have a print, there are so many beautiful details to appreciate. The dress, especially in the skirt, has multiple different kinds of fabric and trims. You will see layers of light and airy chiffon sandwiched between heftier and more substantial fabric. This gives it a very interesting look with different textures and even slightly different colors of cream. The hem of the dress does feature custom lace printed with crowns and the words angelic pretty. In this section, we will look at the silhouette options for this dress. I will feature three different looks, one with no petticoat, the second will feature one petticoat, and the third will have two. Here we see the dress with no petticoat, the common Lolita silhouette does usually feature at least one petticoat under a dress, but just for your reference, here it is, completely by itself. Next, we see the dress with one bell-shaped petticoat underneath. This is likely the most common way this dress would be worn. Here we see the dress with two bell-shaped petticoats underneath. The one on top is a little bit lighter and fluffier, while the one on the bottom is a little thicker and more structured. As a bonus for this dress especially, I wanted to show the silhouette with a hoop skirt underneath as well. To achieve this shape, I have the hoop skirt on the bottom the thicker, more structured, bell-shaped petticoat on top of that, and at the very top, the thinner, more fluffier bell-shaped petticoat.
This section will hopefully help you understand more of the fit and measurements of this dress. Since I will be modeling the dress, my measurements for reference are bust of 32 inches, waist of 25 inches, and my height is 5 foot 2 inches. The bodice has a mid-rise square neckline with a lace trim. Because of the lack of shearing in the back, make sure you pay extra attention to the measurements if you want a great fit in the bodice. This dress has a standard waistline that sits pretty much perfectly at my natural waist. Again, because of the lack of shearing, make sure you check your measurements. At a height of 5 foot 2 inches, this dress hits me at just about my knees. In this section, we will talk about color matching. What color blouse would you need with this dress? White, ivory, or would either work? Here is the dress compared to a bright white purse. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in the colors. I believe the bright white is just too much of a clash for this dress, unfortunately. Here's the dress compared to a cream purse. You can see how well the colors correspond. Because of the overwhelming amount of cream or off-white in this dress, I would definitely recommend using cream or off-white in your accessories. In this section, I will show miscellaneous items about the dress, certain specifications like the fabric weight, pockets, the inner layers of the dress, and a full look at the print. The fabric in this dress is very heavy. I think you would be shocked to pick it up and see just how heavy it is. This dress features not one, but actually two pockets along the side seams. They are quite spacious as well. This dress has two layers, the inner lining and the outer shell with the lace. Here I will include some recommended styling for this dress. The first look I've styled with this dress is Sweet and Hime. I've styled this look with a blonde Hime wig, a tiara and star clip, pink choker, some minimal jewelry, a present box purse, some pink, white and gold angelic pretty socks, and some pink angelic pretty tea party shoes. The next look I've styled with this dress is classic and elegant. I've styled this look with a Baby the Starshine bright headpiece, a pearl choker, some more jewelry, a cream heart angelic pretty purse, some white gold and blue angelic pretty socks, and some gold angelic pretty tea party shoes. The final look I've styled with this dress is sweet and bridal.
As this is the dress I wore in my own wedding, I thought it would be fun to do a bridal look. So I styled it with the veil I wore for my wedding, a pink wig, additional sparkly jewelry, the same cream purse, some cream lace tights, and some pink angelic pretty party heels. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more Lolita content, or check out one of my other videos shown below. See you next time!